Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, today we are gonna tell you how to warp tour. How to warp tour! Woo! <laughs> before going to Warp Tour. My name is Desiree, I run the online music publication Remember Media, so I have gone as a fan and I have also gone as press. This here is my girlfriend Odessa. I am a singer and I have toured as a music, I just touched it, but... <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> and Odessa, which dates are we going to? Do you even know? No, I do. <laughs> I know the cities. What are the cities? Seattle uh -huh. and Salem. Salem. See? Not Portland. Not Portland this Salem. year. Pointer number one, you want to get there early. There is always a massive lineup, there are always a million people in front of you, and there is nothing worse than being in that lineup, hearing your favorite band playing in the distance, and being like, I'm missing my favorite band. So get there early, you're going to need to get your bag checked, there's like a ton of people there, they need to check everyone's bag, it takes some time. So make sure you're there early so you don't miss your favorite band. It has happened and it is tragic. And also, every date there is a different um, lineup of bands, so you never know, like, one day your favorite band could be playing at 11, one day your favorite band could be playing at 7 p.m. closing the show. So you have to get there early so you can go find, they have this big inflatable schedule. Say that a million times fast. Inflatable really schedule. Hard. Inflatable schedule. Inflatable schedule. Okay, fine. Be <laughs> precise and accurate like that. But yeah, they have this, like, huge inflatable schedule that has all the band's time slots. Um, they literally move them around every day so that every band has the, like an equal opportunity to play because like no one really wants to play at 11 a.m. when not everyone's already there the like later time slots are obviously the more ideal insider info yeah so you want to make sure you're there early so you can take that picture of the schedule that's another pointer take a picture of the schedule so you can have it with you for the rest of the day they do hand out schedules but sometimes they're hard to find out where or they've already handed out all of them and then there's none left and then you have no idea when your favorite bands are playing. So get there early is the moral of the story. There are ways to get in faster. Um, if you bring in, I think it's three cans of food, a used cell phone, used cell phone or a $5 donation, you can actually get a wristband for early entry and then you can actually go to a special lineup and get in earlier So or like get in faster. So Damn. to make sure you're not missing that first band, if you're a real keener, you gotta get out of bed early, uh, that is a good option. So, yeah. Amen. If this isn't rock and roll, then I don't know what <laughs> is. <laughs> um, warp Tour, I guess every year I was doing research online, you can donate blood and get backstage. And I know everyone that goes to music festivals always wants to go backstage, I know I do. So, what you can do, it's all, all the information is on the Vans Warp Tour website, but um, Music Saves Lives has different drives in multiple cities across the United States that you can look up on the Vans Warp Tour website, and you go donate blood, they give you a voucher. Only the first 100 people to give the voucher to the designated um, blood donation tent will get a backstage wristband. For each date. For so each like date. 100 per date. But you have to make sure, again, arriving early. We'll get you, what is it saying? The early bird gets the worm. Yes, so, at Warped Tour. It's in true. this case, a wristband. <laughs> Which is way better than worms. <laughs> You choose. <laughs> Another thing you're definitely going to want to remember is at Warp Tour, it's in the summer. It gets really hot. So you want to make sure that you are prepared for the heat, different ways to cool down. You want to make sure you bring sunscreen. I have suffered like the worst sunburns of my life at Warp Tour. They are horrible. So make sure you have a ton of sunscreen if you want to keep that moon tan, you know, stay pale, um, or even just not die. That's <laughs> uh, dying is pretty key. You don't want to die. Warped. There's nothing worse than being like taken out for having sunstroke before your favorite band comes on. Oh. So it does happen. I have seen, seen things. And you can still get a tan using sunscreen. Yes. So, so if that's don't use that excuse. Yes. Uh, which brings us to another thing. 
it is often hot, so you've got to stay hydrated. You have to stay drinking water. Um, again, you don't want anyone to pass out, especially if you're moshing. It is so hot, and when you're putting a million bodies together into a very small space and running around, you get smoking hot. So mm -hmm. you want to stay hydrated to avoid passing out, to avoid any of that no funness that you do not want to have at Warped Tour. Um, so my recommendation is to bring a little water bottle with you. Mm -hmm. um, those little refillable... Sorry, my cat's meowing. It wants to be on the show too. Um, my idea is to bring a refillable water bottle. There's no point in filling it up because they will literally dump it out at the gate. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because they don't want you sneaking Damn in. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want you sneaking in booze. So they bring an empty water bottle. Preferably, I like the ones with like a little hook on it. You can like hook it to your stuff so you don't lose it. They do have stations where you can actually take your water bottle, or if you do want to spend the like a million dollars it costs for like one little water bottle, do that as well. You can keep refilling it. They have stations set up throughout the venues um, to go and get your water bottle filled up so you are staying hydrated, so you are not passing out. It's yeah, it's that simple. It happens. It happens. I know the number one mistake a lot of people make when they want an autograph from their favorite artist or second favorite artist is not bringing a pen or better yet a sharpie. So make sure to bring a sharpie, your favorite color. Um, also go on a warp Tour, I'm sure you like rock and roll, that's like the color of black. So when you're surrounded by black you want to bring a metallic sharpie which are my favorite things in the whole world. Um, silver, gold, they even have like metallic pink ones which are super cool. Don't ever expect that your favorite artist is ever going to have their like own pen on them. If they're like super rad, like <laughs> superhero rad, then I'm sure they would, but most do not. That's just, no. Yeah, that's, they, or they've had one and they give it to the person in front of you and they uh, ran yeah. off with their Sharpie. It happens yeah. all the time. People steal Sharpies. It's just a known fact. It's true. What a lot of bands are doing these days is, just because there's so many people, they can't possibly sign everyone's thing, take photos with everyone. They try their best, but they can't because there are literally thousands of people. And out. always remember that they do try their best, so they don't do ever get angry best. at an artist if you don't get to see them. They yeah. do try their best. Um, but what Warped Tour has started doing is they will set a time where you actually have to go in and get wristbands to come back at a later time for um, meet and greets, for taking photos, and if you don't have a wristband, not everyone will get photos or signatures or whatever you're out to get. Um, so make sure that's another reason to arrive early at the venue. Um, make sure you get in, get to your artist's tent, whether it's their label, whether they have their own tent. Um, go in and get your wristband early so that you aren't missing out, so you're not watching your friends get their stuff signed, uh, get their pictures. You want these memories, they'll be the things you hang on to long after summer's gone. Um, yeah, definitely want to make sure you get those wristbands so you can get in and meet your favorite artists, because that's what it's all about. Warp Tour is a great experience. Literally, you will be walking around Warp Tour and your favorite artist could walk right by, because everyone just kind of mingles. It's like a little, like it's a big hangout with artists, fans, everyone labels, um, brands, everyone just hangs out together and it's really cool because yeah, you'll be walking and one of your favorite artists will walk right by. Um, so that's cool. Let's talk about shoes. Shoes are important. <laughs> Super important. Yes. Um, you know that rule when you start a new job and they tell you you can only wear toe covering shoes? I feel like that rule should apply at Warp Tour as well. I've been to concerts and... Your toes have gotten stepped on. Mm -hmm. It happens. If you're in a mosh pit you're, and your toes don't get stepped on, you are moshing wrong, I think. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, high heels. I know I'm not going to wear high heels. She's laughing because she's going to wear high heels. <laughs> I'm not. Well, maybe. But don't wear those stiletto heels that mm -hmm. literally are going to get stuck in the grass. You're going to be the loser that's got their heels stuck in the grass. No, I'm not actually wearing high heels. Um, <laughs> They're, they're completely impractical. Just make sure they're comfy. You're going to be in them 10 hours. You are going to be sitting, but like generally the majority of the day you're going to be standing. You're going to be walking around. You're going to be running from stage mm -hmm. to stage to see your favorite band. You want to make sure that you are in comfortable. Also, no one's really going to be looking at your feet when you're in such a big crowd of people. Like, mm -hmm. no one looks from your knees down. So if you wear comfortable runners mm -hmm. and it just doesn't go with your outfit, who cares? Who yeah. cares? Just be the most comfortable you can be and... 
people would probably look at you and be like, damn, I wish I had those shoes on. Those look comfy. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, you people have shoe envy. If you have comfy shoes on, <laughs> shoe envy all around. Yeah. Which brings me to another point. Flip-flops are also not a great idea. Um, <laughs> at the end of Warped Tour, it's always one of my favorite things to look out over the grounds and see the, like, collection of random <laughs> shit that is left over. Broken um, flip-flops. <laughs> number one, probably number one thing, besides sometimes creepy hair extensions, which is really weird. Oh, yeah. Um, are flip-flops, like, destroyed flip-flops. Like, moshing in flip-flops is not ideal, and literally there will be, like, millions of flip-flops, like, lost, never to be found again, and... So if you're in the business of restoring flip-flops, <laughs> like, good for you. Otherwise, bring... Hit the warp tour. Yeah, hit the warp tour. Otherwise, just wear something freaking comfy. Agreed, 100%. Um, which also brings us to another thing, um, what you wear to warp tour. I mean, I've seen people trying to look cool, trying to wear, like, you know, the layered look. It's really trendy right now. Well, it's not trendy when it's... 30 degrees, 32 degrees. And I don't you're know. Wearing a leather jacket. Yeah, I don't no. know what that is in U.S. weather, but um, in Canada weather, it's hot. And you don't want to be in leather. You don't want to be in long pants. Wear something light, like something flowy, like preferably not something that if you're up in the air in the wash pit, crowd surfing, <laughs> people are grabbing things they shouldn't be grabbing. Um, <laughs> Just make sure you're wearing something comfortable, something like that allows air to circulate. And around if you're scared you. it's gonna like start raining or it's gonna be cold, obviously. <gasps> <gasps> My cat just fell off the refrigerator. Sushi! Oh, come here! Oh my god! Anyway, what was I saying, sushi? <laughs> um, what to wear? Oh, if you think it's gonna be cold, or it's gonna start raining, or the weather isn't gonna be hot, which there's a likely chance, um, you're gonna be wearing a backpack, so just bring a sweater. It has rained in the past when I've been at Warped Tour. It's, it's rare, but it has happened. Um, so yeah, just bring like, or even just like a light, like rain jacket, like a windbreaker rain jacket, just to keep yourself out of the rain. I mean, most people are having such a good time that <laughs> who cares? It's summer. It's not gonna be like freezing cold. Uh, it'll be it'll be good. You might get a little wet, but a little water never hurt nobody. Makeup, makeup. <laughs> Next thing to remember is you want to look good at Warped Tour. Um, you don't want makeup dripping down your face. You don't want that messy situation mm -mm. happening. Um, so my number one pointer is first of all, your foundation, you want to have some sun protection in your foundation or whether you put on sunscreen first and then put foundation over it. I know my foundation has an SPF 15, uh, just anything helps. You don't want to get a sunburn, especially on your face. It hurts. Right, and the tea. <laughs> so bad. Your nose, the tip of your nose, worst. So make sure you either have sunscreen on or you're using a foundation with an SPF in it. Um, my second biggest pointer when it comes to makeup, waterproof everything. Um, especially mascara, stuff around your eyes, your wing liner, all that. It's okay to do. It may not stay perfect, but I mean, no one's judging you. Everyone's in the same boat. Um, mm -hmm. But just make sure it's as waterproof as possible. Make sure as much of your routine is waterproof. If you're moshing, if you're sweating, which you probably will because it's going to be quite warm, um, just make sure that you're protecting yourself from that. You know. Amen. Yeah. So make sure everything stays where it's supposed to. You don't want that. You don't want stuff brows on. shifting. <laughs> like shady, like up eyebrow. <laughs> Your glued eyebrow suddenly. You look super interested in something. <laughs> yeah. While you're at Warp Tour, at least I think anyone every day, not even at Warp Tour, is so dependent on their phone for social media, more so when you're at a music festival. So. I'm not gonna give you tips on how to preserve your battery, but more so on how to have more battery. And you can have more battery by bringing another battery! Yes. So. Those like little portable battery packs are your lifesaver. I had one last year that had like two connections and I had all my friends like following me around being like, can I plug my phone in for a second? Can I just plug one more You second? can charge your friends. Yes, you can. <laughs> you get it? You can charge your friends. <laughs> you can buy your friends with chargers pretty much. Um, but no, you want to make sure your phone at Warp Tour is like your lifeline to find your friends. Um, it's really hard to stay connected when you're in the mosh pit. It's really easy to lose someone. Mm -hmm. Chances of finding them again if you don't have a phone is going to be quite difficult. So make sure your phone is fully charged when you're going into Warp Tour. Make sure you're keeping an eye on making sure that you have enough 
enough to find your friends at the end of the day um, and just making sure that you have as much battery life as possible because you're probably social media you're taking pictures mm -hmm. warp tour the warp tour app which you should definitely download um, sends you updates about what artists what signings are going on things that are happening throughout the day specific to your date of the warp tour so it's a good way to stay connected and just remember Murphy's law if you don't bring another phone charger as soon as your phone dies is gonna be like the moment you've been waiting for that you now cannot prove to everyone just happened so that's true bring another charger definitely another big pointer make sure you have your tickets before the day of warp tour i didn't get my ticket for warp tour at warptour.com now i really wish i could go hello scary vendor in the parking lot yes can i buy a ticket Oh, I got some tickets here. I got tickets right here for you. All the tickets. How much for a ticket? Well, you know, a million dollars. A million dollars. Yes. They're all very, very fake. I mean, real. Okay. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Don't do this. It's a bad life choice. <laughs> very bad life choice. Do not buy tickets from people in the parking lot. Moral of the story. Fake tickets do go around. Um, it's just a bad situation to get involved with. There's nothing worse than getting to the front gate and your ticket not actually being a mm -hmm. legit ticket. And then you're out, you know. When you've taken the time to follow all of our steps and you get to the gate and your ticket is a fake. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it'd be very sad. So make sure you buy your ticket from either the Warped Tour website or, or Journeys, you or can journeys, go to journeys Shoe Store. Where you can actually avoid the service fees. So that mm -hmm. is an awesome pointer. That's a new thing that they And pick up some runners for Warp Tour. Yes, <laughs> plus comfy shoes. You can buy comfy shoes and get your ticket and like life is gonna be good. Go two that's birds with one stone. Yes. Except don't kill birds, that's rude. <laughs> All right, well, that about does it for our tips and tricks on how to warp tour. Uh, make sure if you have any others to add in, throw them down in the comments below, as well as be sure to subscribe. We're going to be posting a ton of videos um, leading up to warp tour, different things that you may want to know, and also we're going to be vlogging live from warp tour. Um, so make sure if you want to stay tuned with that and check it out. Um, we're going to be at the first and second date, so you can kind of see what it's coming your way. To get behind the scenes with us and for more perspective on our next videos to come, make sure to follow both of us on Instagram and Snapchat. Uh, links will be in the bio below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Have fun. See you. Bye.